how much is your dollar worth in different parts of North America? Buying a home is incredibly expensive. I mean, yeah, it's always expensive, but right now it's particularly expensive. Almost every market is overvalued, housing prices continue to climb, and all over the country, people are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars more for a home than they would have just two years ago. But it is undeniable that in some places, your dollar goes further than it does in others. I wanted to see what my money was worth in four different locations. I checked out houses in Los Angeles, California, Orlando, Florida, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and Omaha, Nebraska to see how much would I get for the same cost? What is a million dollars worth in different cities? Just in case I decide to go into incredible debt to buy a home. This is a home in Venice. And it is um, $1.15 million. This is the general location of the house. And so let's, let's take a look and see what does $1.15 million buy us in, uh, in LA. This is, I guess, the home. Venice Beach Bungalow with sun-drenched interior spaces and framed views of some of the most iconic buildings in Venice. Two bedroom, one bath, 624 square feet. Now let's see the inside. Looks like it needs a new paint job, but the outside's cute. We've got our deck here. This is our front deck. Remember, this is where they said it would be nice for some al fresco dining. This, this would be a place for dining, undeniably. You could dine here. I like how many windows there are. You get a lot of natural lighting. What do you think the person does that's living here that they have binoculars on their desk and they're just looking out on the people. Oh, good. Well, this room looks like it's move in ready. You know, you've got a window boarded up again. The floors are in tip top shape and this is the whole home. This is their brand new electric washer dryer. Lovely. This is a piece of shit chat. There's no kitchen in this home. Where is the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? This is a, f oh, that is so funny. Holy shit. I just realized this is their kitchen. That's what this is. They've got a folding table with a mini fridge and a microwave oven. This is wild. $1.15 million. And what you get is a folding table kitchen. Yeah, you definitely don't get the folding table. You gotta buy your own. Let's look at Orlando. Another place that I've lived. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. It's already so crazy. It is a five bedroom, four bath with 3,600 square feet. This is in celebration, which again, um, I, I think that my perception, it's not the most expensive place, obviously, to live in Orlando, but um, I think the perspective of most of us that have lived there is that celebration is expensive. And still, we're getting a five bedroom, four bath with 3,600 square feet. So it's a nice outside. Uh, kind of pseudo fake Victorian home. There's something about this photo that looks photoshopped to me. This furniture is not here, right? Am I crazy? This is photoshopped, right? Oh, it's virtually staged. I have an actual realtor in chat. I understand. It's an empty room and it's a virtually staged house. Whoever staged this room is down back. <laughs> Maybe it's not staged, actually. Maybe they mess with the contrast to make it brighter. You think these are actual, these are actual pieces of furniture, is what you're saying. I'd like to stage this like my grandmother died there, please. <laughs> this furniture is looking bizarro. This couch looks like garbage. Why? This couch is very confusing. Nice size kitchen, a little island in the middle. I like the bar, although those chairs are too big for the bar. Little dining area. Yeah, I like the kitchen well enough. Another, like a breakfast nook area. What the hell is this? This is a second kitchen? Chat, we looked at a bungalow that had a folding table with a mini fridge and a microwave on top of it that it was the entirety of the kitchen. This has two kitchens. This house is less money or the same money and it has two kitchens. It's an apartment over the garage. Yep. I'm just saying that it's wild that this is the same amount of money. I, I know this, 
but it's wild that it's the same amount of money. And in one, we had a 650 square foot bungalow with a folding table as a kitchen. And in the other one, there are two kitchens and like a whole other apartment. Canadians in chat, give me a Canadian city. Halifax, you got it. We'll look up Halifax. Where's Halifax? Oh, it's in Nova Scotia. Okay. I think this is in USD. I understand that your your monopoly money has a different dollar value, but this is probably in USD, right? Oh, it is Canadian dollars. Look for 1.5 mil. That's the exchange rate. All right, sure. It is a two bedroom, two bath. That is 3,200 square feet. This exquisite condo. It's not even a house, it's a condo. The modern kitchen is stunning with crisp white cabinets, marble. I'll be the judge of that. It looks, I mean, it's like the same color as the um, celebration home. Very modern look on the inside. I don't really care for this backsplash, if I'm being honest, but I like the open floor plan. I, I hope that they virtually stage this because I hope somebody did not pick... I hope that they picked this off of a virtual catalog and they did not select these furnitures actually to be in their home because they don't go together. I'm just going to be honest with you. They look like trash. These windows are nice. I am confused by this couch that looks upon this dining table next to the fireplace. You've got another living area where... What, do you just have an abundance of couches? Why is this chair hot pink? This whole room is like grays and oranges. They've got like these orange pillows. They've got some nice flowers that I imagine are fake. That's a choice. A TV that I don't think anybody is in a good position to see. I think the only chairs that have a good view of this TV are, are these two. The hot pink chair and its sister gray chair. That's a confusing place for this vase of flowers to be but you know pop off queen this is the downstairs more couches with furry pillows more confusing wood furniture with modern glass for I, they must have inherited a whole wood set and they just spread it out across their house big deck although it um i've heard it's cold it's cold in canada right put a space heater out there you'll be fine <laughs> Let's go Midwest. Let's go Omaha, Nebraska. All right, $1.15 million in Omaha, Nebraska. Six bedroom, six bath, 7,655 square feet. Built as a replica of the home of the president of the College of William and Mary. This home features over 7,600 finished square feet on four levels. Chat. The octagonal den is an architectural artifact from historic Omaha. I want to remind you that we looked at a bungalow. <laughs> that there are people in Los Angeles paying the same amount of money for 600 square feet and a folding table kitchen. Here it is in the daytime. I think somebody died here. Somebody got buried right here. Probably a white person. You know what's funny is that like, it doesn't look that nice. <laughs> this is a choice for a bathroom. This is a decision. This looks like a place where cult meetings happen. I'm pretty sure that's an offering bowl in the middle of the table and that you probably have to, um, to cut your hand over the bowl. I mean, come on. The person that owns this home is definitely in a cult. They didn't call it Scientology, but we all know what it is. Ah, uh, yes. This room. This is what they were saying, the octagonal room. This room was described as an artifact of Omaha architecture, everyone. Rich people just got too much space. Like, guaranteed they never even come in this room. Whoever buys this, there are rooms in this house they just never go to. They have one dining table they use, one living area they use, one bedroom they use, and then they never use anything else. The rest of the house is completely wasted. I say they probably don't use this room because all of these shelves have just random white vases, maybe urns. Imagine these are dead people in these shelves. This is the dead person room. Oh, we have this area. They have all of this space and they have no idea what to do with it. So they just put their Peloton up here. This is completely empty. They don't even use this room. They never use this pool table. 
These people never, they I, have not even once. I don't even know if they know that it exists. I think if they walked down those stairs right now, they'd be surprised that there's a room here. What's this? There's clearly windows. There's clearly blinds. And there's a downstairs of the, of the octagonal artifact of Omaha architecture. It probably is the murder room. And there probably is somebody chained up. So my takeaway from that home is that like, holy shit, that's a lot of home. The owners don't even use most of it. And there's definitely a murder room in that house. That's what I found out.